Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. A warehouse fire overnight in Massachusetts kills six firefighters. Columbine High fights for the football state championship, and yes, they did like the Christmas tree at City Hall. This week on Dave, don't miss Will Smith, Johnny Depp, Farrah Fawcett, Harrison Ford, and Julia Roberts. It's a superstar week of late shows. Now your local news. Coming up next, we'll have results from today's runoff elections. The rain didn't help voter turnout, a change in the weather brewing. Still no word from Mars. And could some Houston-bound relics have miraculous powers? Plus, a fitting way to wind up a tragic year. Columbine High is the state champ. I'm Trin Min Cha. The news is next. Now, 11 News at 10. It's just what we needed. Rain and lots of it, with storms blowing in more seasonal weather. Good evening, I'm Shun Min Chow. Jerome Gray has the night off. The first thing we want to do is get a late update on our weather from meteorologist Mario Gomez. And Mario, is the worst of it, all that rain finally over? It appears so, that's right, Sherman. In fact, uh, we, were, we saw some of the heaviest rain in the state of Texas, right here along the Texas Gulf Coast. That happened late this morning and early this afternoon. It probably interrupted some of your weekend plans. Still ahead, a problem on another planet. NASA is hoping for news that is out of this world. Columbine High making headlines again, but this time for the right reasons. A toy store parents need to hear before all the hot ones are gone. Plus, ringing in the season with a bang, how Houston is lighting up the holidays. Closed captioning is brought to you by Fingers Furniture. You're watching Houston's leader for live local coverage, 11 News at 10. Well, they're still hoping the Polar Lander phones home. So far, nothing, though this humor may help during the wait. NASA is not giving up, still hoping that historic sights and sounds will be beamed back from the Red Planet. 11 News reporter Manuel Gallegas has the latest now on the mission to Mars. Thanks, Manuel. Still ahead, calling all young artists. We need you to help us make some Christmas cards for folks who need a little cheer. And finally, some sweater weather this holiday season. Stay with us. If your to-do list keeps getting longer instead of getting done, here's a morning newscast designed for the way you live. 11 News This Morning. Real news, traffic reports, and weather five times an hour. In fact, since May of last year, over 40,000 more people have started watching 11 News This Morning. Why? Because you have more to do. We have more to say. 11 News This Morning with Tanya Bendixson, Angie Martinez, and David Paul's weather. Don't add it to your list. Just add it to your morning. With Houston's most accurate forecast, Mario Gomez and SkyMax 11 Doubler, only on 11 News at 10. Well, across much of the Texas area, we finally got some rainfall, cooling temperatures across the region throughout much of the day. It looks like we're feeling the effects of a cool front at long last. Thanks, Mario. Well, if your child is asking for that special Christmas toy, you better get to the store. Those hot holiday toys going fast. Also, some Houston families are finally home for the holidays. We'll explain. You're watching Houston's leader for live local coverage, 11 News at 10. Christmas arrived a touch early for seven Houston families. They were handed keys to their brand new homes this morning, all thanks to Houston's Habitat for Humanity. Still ahead, the world was rocked by tragedy, but tonight triumph as Columbine High takes its first state football title. Rockets hit the court at Compact Center, and you know who makes a stop here in town tonight. Plus, we've got another look at the latest results of today's runoff election.
and that is a pretty sight. It'll be up there down by City Hall. So take a minute and go downtown and take a look at that. Thanks a lot for joining us. We hope to see you again tomorrow, and we leave you again with some more pictures of the fireworks at that tree lighting ceremony downtown. Good night.